Welcome back to PlayStation Access and to our top 10 videos designed to give you an easy way into the very best of PS4's huge lineup of games. This week, the friendly, non stop fun world of first person shooters, celebrating the genre's mix of action, precision, and thinking about our feelings. <laughs> Not really. Here are our top 10. Uh, 11. Dave, I'm trying to do the VO, man. Uh, you said we could include Battlefield, remember, in the meeting? Yeah, do you remember what else happened in the meeting? No, it no. has to be in no. there. It has to no. be in there. It has to be in no. there. It no. has to be no. in there. No, no, no. Are you serious? It wasn't even loaded. Let's talk about this later. After our first entry, Modern Warfare. Yes, I love Modern Warfare. Did I tell you I've got the plot? Just keep flying. Keep flying until we're sure he's gone. We know a lot of you will have your favourite Call of Duty game. Maybe it's got a particularly tight campaign, multiplayer you couldn't put down, or you've got brilliant memories of playing zombies with friends. But we tried to keep to one entry per series in these lists, and thankfully, Modern Warfare embodies a lot of what, for us, makes Call of Duty so good. The rebooted campaign is a varied, tense blockbuster, and the multiplayer is a progress-rich mix of game types that will have something for pretty much everyone. Then of course, there's Warzone. Modern Warfare's Battle Royale is a game in itself, one you can download for free, but integrates seamlessly with the main game's menu systems and XP progression, making for a walloping all-in-one experience. Plus, there's a small matter of Warzone being fantastic. Full of smart twists and tweaks of the Battle Royale formula, powered by COD's tried and tested gameplay. It means they're on the list. Next on our list is Titanfall 2. Many of the entries coming up in this video really challenge the idea of what being a first person shooter means. It means they're on the list. There are battle royales, online shooters, and tactical squad shooters. But Titanfall 2 is here because, quite simply, it has the best shooter campaign we've ever played. The gunplay is crisp and impactful, the movement is a wall running dream with pro level depths, and the key thing there's an obscene variety of design and imagination in the levels and setups that the game throws at you. From simple shooting done really, really well to time travel and the game world literally reshaping itself around you. It's like the game is deconstructing the genre and putting it back together again, and in case that makes you feel nervous, giving you a cool mech friend who sounds like your robot dad. Just listen to this. I'm BT7274. Put it back, Dave. <laughs> what? Just put it back. You may call me BT. Dad. Let's go this way. Alright, it's too tempting not to put Apex Legends next, partly because it's the next game from Respawn, the studio behind Titanfall, and takes place in the same universe. And partly because in another life, the creative team at Respawn made the original modern warfare. Time is a flat circle, much like this one that's contracting rather quickly and has gas on the other side. Yes, Apex Legends is a free-to-play battle royale, and the first such on PS4 to offer solid first-person shooting gameplay. Pick from a gradually expanding lineup of legends, drop into one of the game's two maps in teams of one, two or three, and use your team's unique abilities and all the guns you can find to be the last standing. Like we do, regularly really, basically all the time, as you can see from this video. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on! Oh, yeah. oh, yes! 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 Oh, I never thought it would happen! Finally, I can't believe it! Oh gosh! Oh, I'm actually going to An hour! I'm actually going to cry. An oh. hours! Oh my god, we did it! Next up, Destiny 2, Bungie's ever-growing multiplayer space epic. The Destiny games take the beautifully balanced FPS gameplay that Bungie are known for and place it at the heart of a complex, persistent, powers-driven sci-fi mix of campaign, co-op, multiplayer, gun-collecting, raiding, planet-hopping, jumping up and down while waiting for friends to arrive and being free to play for ages. Bungie is constantly adding more content and modes, the game is currently on Season 10, as well as maintaining a classic cycle of daily and weekly activities for players to structure their playing and socialising around. They once took the tower. They will take nothing else. We'll see to that. 
If you are looking for a classic single player first person shooter campaign then may we point you in the direction of Doom Eternal, a suggestion much politer than anything that happens in the game itself which is basically about tearing demons apart and occasionally putting them back together again in the wrong order. This is a modern interpretation of the feel of classic Doom, which actually translates into a sophisticated looping system of weapons cooldowns and resource farming through kills, turning combat into an angry, sprinting, punching, exploding machine of perpetual motion. It's fun, brutal and intense. In fact, the only thing we'd add to the game is a British mode, including more apologising. Oh, sorry. 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 Oh, sorry. 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 Excuse me. Oh dear, sorry. Super Hot is a slick minimalist shooter with a genius hook. Time moves as you do, pulling the fourth dimension into play and making each encounter a clockwork puzzle of side steps and finishing blows. This makes things easier, but by no means easy, as you ration out your time and movement to catch enemies coming from every direction before watching a replay of how awesome your fight would look in real time. Rounding things off is Superhot's meta-narrative, the game's DOS visuals and hacked back-end aesthetic, meaning you're never quite sure what's real, what isn't, and who the real bad guys are. Well, how's this? Wait, is it Dave? You said we could do Battlefield you Five. You said we could do Battlefield Five. You said we could do Battlefield Five. We'll do Battlefield, but I'm also going to break your weird orange body. And can we cut before the other Daves kill me, please? Please cut. Battlefield 5 then, which of course really does deserve its spot on the list for offering a fully featured multi-moded blockbuster first person shooter experience with its own distinct character. While Call of Duty is breathlessly fast and raucous, Battlefield has honed a grounded sense of place and time, leaning into historical detail and real life campaigns while still providing thumping entertainment. War Stories returns from Battlefield 1, offering somber, nuanced takes on individual battles and soldiers as the game's single-player experience, while classic Battlefield staples like Conquest lead a long list of multiplayer modes. There's also Firestorm, Battlefield's take on Battle Royale, and the most fun we've had in the game, Grand Operations, which set huge online multiplayer within the context of real World War II battles over four stages. Battle, 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 battle. They've done me! I need a medic! When Overwatch came along in 2016, it was like the advent of coloured television, an event I can't remember, but that I imagine was just like going from shooting at people in mud and steel corridors to shooting at them in a slick sci-fi rainbow scape instead. It's no exaggeration to say the release of Overwatch was a landmark moment for the first-person shooter genre, a vibrant, team-based multiplayer game that put esports in the mainstream spotlight and also fueled the resurgence of the hero shooter, an FPS for the Avengers generation. Every time you play Overwatch, you play as someone, a character with charisma and unique abilities, assuming you don't find yourself in a team where six people all want to be Widowmaker. Right, so who's going to be who? I'm going to be I'm Widowmaker. Widowmaker. No, you're always... No, oh, come Widowmaker. on, you're a terrible Widowmaker sniper. Widowmaker is my main. Widowmaker. Don't Guys, care, you're a terrible if I'm sniper. not Widowmaker... Someone be Arissa. I'm not, I'm not being Arissa. The collaboration and collision of these personalities is what makes Overwatch such a blast to play. The thrill of earning yourself play of the game and watching it back in gratifying slow-mo is indescribably amazing. At least, that's what I've been told because I've not actually experienced it myself. Moving on to Borderlands 3! This is Gearbox doing what it does best. Loud, colourful, Moorish gunplay peppered with larger-than-life characters and uniquely flavoured humour. The reason Borderlands 3 gets on this list is simple though, it just feels so good to play. The kick of each weapon, the crunch of dead enemies, the satisfying click of reloading before leaping from cover and unloading a volley of wonderful nonsense into whatever's unfortunate enough to be standing in your way. Also if there's a better way to share a co-op session with a friend, we're yet to see it. Hosing down bullet sponge bosses, exploding them like loot piñatas and gobbling up the resulting bounty feels like first person shooting in its purest form and not even Claptrap can make us tired of it. Not even Claptrap. Our next entry, Rainbow Six Siege, is unlike anything else on this list. 
Most shooters are a cacophony of gunfire from start to finish. Siege, on the other hand, is about tense silence in a small space. If you're on the defending team, you'll have a brief window at the start of each round to shore up the building you're in, barricading entry points, fanning out in strategic formation, isolating and protecting the hostage if there is one. And then you wait. The game begins and the tension rises as the attacking team work their way inside. Maybe they blast through your barricades or send in a remote camera to scout the area. Either way, they're probably breathing just as heavily as you are. The action then comes in sharp, violent bursts. The threat of permadeath lends each encounter a frenzied potency, where your ability to keep cool and calmly execute your strategy is often more important than your aim. More than any first-person shooter we've played, Rainbow Six Siege necessitates considered cooperation. Tight, destructible interiors mean players who run off to play their hero invariably end up getting gunned down, just like they deserve. This is the part where we'd normally say something clever like, there's no I in Rainbow Six Siege, but unfortunately, there are three. So instead, we'll just say stick together, communicate, and enjoy one of the best team-based tactical shooters on PS4. Look, Far Cry 5 is the latest and most refined version of Ubisoft's reliably brilliant open world shooter which comes alive with calamitous co-op play and is in general a constantly surprising playground of destruction. Yes, but more importantly, it's full of dogs. This dog, Boomer, who gives you a reason to say, OK, Boomer, that isn't just upsetting your parents, can be petted and also attacks people for you. Or this dog, who can't be petted and who looks like a generic lower league player in FIFA compared to Boomer's fully face scanned Virgil van Dog. Or in the new Dawn DLC, all these dogs that Dave and I rescued because we are heroes who would never do anything to harm dogs. No, don't, don't show this. Oh. Oh my god, that was awful. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think that's basically everything you need to know about Far Cry Dog and the new Dog DLC. And indeed, everything you need to know in this video of our top 10 but secretly 11 first person shooters on PS4. Let us know the games you would have included in the comments. Please do give us a like if you enjoyed the video or even just a bit of it. Subscribe to Access and we'll see you again soon. For the players.